This is the solution to written homework 61. Okay. So, f evaluated at g of x, that's 3 g of x squared plus 7, which is 3 square root x minus 7 over 2 squared plus 7. So now the squared and the square cancel. So you get 3 x minus 7 over 2. Oh no, that's a 3. So, so that should be a 3. Okay. Let me read the problem carefully. So over 3 over 3 plus 7. So then those 3's cancel. And the 7's cancel and you just get x. Whereas for this one, g of f of x, well, that is square root of f of x minus 7 and then all over 3. That would be square root of the x squared plus 7 minus 7 divided by 3. Okay, so now those sevens will cancel. The threes will cancel. And now, now the square root and the square do not cancel. This is absolute value of x. So this the distinction between these two cases is that for the one on the top when you take a square root and you square it this is x but when you do it in the opposite order <coughs> the square root of x squared this is the absolute value of x